Hey everyone, welcome to EDG's team analysis for the upcoming mid-season invitational here at Lowell Class. In the top lane for EDG is Koro1. Koro has played for EDG since season 4 when he joined as a rookie. Here he is, a year later, easily considered as one of the best top laners in the LPL. Koro's standout performance champions include Nar, Maokai, and Hecarim. Koro not only carried many games during the regular season, but also during the playoffs. His spectacular NAR performance in the finals against LGD earned him the title of Best NAR in China from the Chinese League of Legends fans. EDG's all-star mid laner is Pawn. Many put him on the same level as Faker and Dare as a top 3 mid laner in Korea thanks to his world-class laning and incredible experience. Pawn has a very deep understanding of the game, always knowing what he should be doing, where and where he should be, and making nearly zero mistakes along the way. His best trait is perhaps his ability to adapt and play any role necessary. In the AD carry position for EDG is none other than Death. He is possibly considered the most consistent, calm and smart AD carry in Korea. He's often compared to Uzi and Imp and while his laning phase might not be as good as theirs, his team fighting situational awareness, positioning and transitions from lane to lane make him the best AD carry in Korea. Whenever you want to kill Deft, he always has flash, but beware. Whenever he flashes into the fight, it's all over for the enemies. The support player is Meiko. This guy is another rising superstar support player. As a rookie, he has proven himself with his deadly Annie play, Thresh, and other initiation type supports. When the team calls for it, he can also bust out the Morgana or the Janna for a protect the AD carry comp. Finally, the jungler is Clear Love. This is the number one jungler in China team leader and shot caller of EDG. When the two superstar Korean players joined, everybody was worried about their team synergy. However, Clearlove has shown time and time again his mastery of the game. His dominating jungle performance throughout the entirety of the 2015 spring season is proof of that. He adapts to new patches incredibly fast and is able to perform on any jungle champion at a world class level. EDG definitely comes in as the strongest Chinese team so far in 2015. With the addition of Pawn and Death to their roster, EDG are a team without weaknesses in any position. During their last 10 regular season and playoff pick and ban phases, EDG has shown a priority for picking top for Koro, followed by Jungle for Clearlove. Koro is a very solid and patient top laner that EDG is not worried about getting counterpicked. His incredible skills allow him to play safe or even outplay his opponents under pressure. He always prefers the tank type champions like Nar and Maokai. Anytime he is struggling in lane, he always manages to find opportunities with well-timed teleports to get back in the game. If he finds himself on a comfort pick or manages to counterpick the opponent on purple side, Clearlove will show preference towards aggressive junglers like Rek'Sai to shut down the enemy top laner with Koro. It is likely we'll see EDG lane swap, freeing up Mako to roam and make big plays. As one of the most aggressive support players in the LPL, if Mako gets Annie, Thresh or Nautilus, he will be a huge threat and always the one to initiate fights. That's gonna do it for this EDG team preview for the upcoming Midseason Invitational. For more League of Legends content featuring the pros and more previews of MSI, check out lolclass.com. Thanks for watching.